I read that book that you gave oh, me, Kathy, yes. about the life-changing magic of tidying up. So I thought, if it's not on my gallery wall, I'll throw it out. Where did you get your frames? Well, okay, I ordered all the big ones, like all the black ones. I got them from Ikea. Yeah, just... You didn't hold back. <laughs> the gallery wall is a really hip way of incorporating all those collectible things you might have saved over the years. Show posters, um, newspaper articles, pictures, artwork. It's also really going to be fun to go through all those things I've been saving over the years and decide what I really want to keep and put on display and what I should just let go of. This is a fun one. This is a Coast Best of Music from 2010. And I'm on the cover with Joel Plaskett and Paul McCartney and Classified. It's kind of a fun poster to remember there. There's Ruby Jean and our band there. That was the year that we won this gold record for Best Dressed Act and Best Artist Eye Hijinks. These black IKEA frames are going to be the core of the gallery wall. They're gonna add a lot of symmetry and organization to the space. And then I'll be able to pepper in some of my gold frames. And this photograph of me in, the, in a stream of water with my the bunnies that my mom painted for me when I was a little kid. And this dress I had custom made by Gary Markle and my friend Andy Hines, like one of my really good friends, took this press picture for me. So it has a lot of memories and sentimental values. So I definitely wanna find a frame that that, that can go in. In order to not have to put all these frames up on the wall and then reorganize it, a really easy way to design your gallery wall is to use a craft paper like this, just a brown inexpensive roll of craft paper. You take your frames and you lay it out on the paper, trace them, and then I cut out the shape of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on it what the piece is. So for instance, this is a you know, the Halifax skate, so I'm just gonna draw a couple buildings, and the, the clock. So I remember which one this is. This is a poster of Julie Dwan that I have, and she was always a big inspiration for me. A show she played one time at the One World Cafe, and she talked about how she had collected enough recycling to take down to the Enviro Depot to get enough change to get coffee and soup and and she had racked up a huge debt of like ten thousand dollars to a record label so she was thinking of quitting music and i just remember crying and feeling just so sad about her and not wanting her to quit music and i was waitressing at the time and i had like a hundred dollars worth of tips in my pocket and i just like went up to her after the show and gave her a hundred dollars crying and just said please don't stop playing music I'm ready to do my dry lay now, and I'm gonna start with the biggest pieces that I have first, put those on. I've marked the floor with a little bit of painter's tape so I know the angle of my staircase, and then I'll be able to fill in around those big pictures with the smaller frames that I have. Once you have your templates all made, use painter's tape to hang them on the wall. That way you can move them around easily and as many times as you want until you come up with your perfect design. Now I can measure the back of the frame, measure the template to mark where the nail to hold the hook should go, nail through the template, then remove the template to hang my picture. And I'm going to go and do that for all 34 pieces on the wall. Sometimes I imagine what the wall would look like if I hadn't made some of the decisions that I did. Luckily, I have no regrets.